In this episode, we're going to talk about what are cube control plugins and how do they work. In a nutshell, cube control plugins are commands that are not normally part of cube control. But once you install them, they become part of cube control and you can just call them from cube control command. So to give you an example, I have a command here called cube control who am I? This is not normally part of cube control, but because I installed this plugin, I can now call this from cube control. Now let's take a look at how does this plugin work under the covers. If I run kubectl plugin list, you're going to see that this plugin is actually a binary somewhere in my path that is named kubectl who am I. So this is what makes kube control find and run this plugin when you execute kube control who am I. Let's go ahead and write a very simple bash based plugin. In this case, I want to write a plugin called colorize. It just takes the output from kube control and colorizes it and prints it to the output. I'm going to go ahead and create a file called kubectl colorize. And in this script, I'm going to be running bash and then any arguments I get, I'm going to pass them to kube control and then to colorize them, I'm going to run this command. So if I exit this, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this thing executable. And then I'm going to be adding the current directory to my path environments variable. So after I do that, if I run kubectl plugin list again, you're going to realize that the colorize command is now detected by kube control. So when I run kube control colorize, it's actually going to work the way I intended. So let's go ahead and actually try this plugin. If I type kube control colorize get pods, you're going to see that the kube control get pods output is actually passed to this program and it's colorized. At this point, you might wonder, is this really what kube control plugins are for? Obviously not. This is a very silly example. And there are more serious things that we do with kube control plugins. You might also wonder, is this really how I install plugins? Like, do I drop a binary in my user local bin or something like that? And we're going to cover answers to those questions in the following episodes. So subscribe and stay tuned.